sails at full speed ahead. Aye, aye, Captain! Oh, hi, mates! Tis a fine day to sail the seven seas, and the day tis ripe for crafting. Come on, Pete, let's show these land lovers how to make a pirate ship of their own. First, you'll need your supplies. You'll need two large sponges, some fun foam, a couple craft sticks and a sharp barbecue skewer, a sponge paint dabber, and a permanent marker to decorate your ship. Aye, permanent like me tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> the first step is to cut one of your sponges in half like this. Then you're going to need two rectangles for sails and two long skinny triangles for flags. Remember, land lovers, the sails and the flags can be whatever color ye want. That's right, Pete. And you have to remember, before you put your ship together, you're going to want to decorate your sails and your flags. Here are some decorating ideas. You could use the skull and bones. Ah, the true sign of a pirate, the Jolly Roger. <laughs> That's right. Or you could make up your own symbol like these land lovers did. Now we're ready to put this ship together. The first thing you're going to want to do is poke two holes in the top and in the bottom of each of your sails. Then you're going to poke a hole in the front of your ship and in the back of your ship. Make sure that hole goes right through both of your sponges. This one will hold your ship together. That's right. Now you hoist your sails onto the masts like this and poke them through the holes that you already made. Make sure that your back mask goes all the way through both sponges to hold it together. We don't want our ship coming apart at it seems, like in the Great Storm of 75. Aye, Captain, that's how I lost me hand to the sharks. I thought you... Never mind. <laughs> to make your crow's nest, you take your sponge paint dabber and carefully peel that sponge off, and then you just slip it onto the top of your mast. To make your flags, you take your long, thin triangle and fold it over a couple centimeters, staple it together, and then you just slip it onto the top of your mast. That there ship be a beauty, Captain. Yeah, she is pretty awesome. Mm, but she's not ready to sail yet, is she, Captain? That's right, Pete. This ship needs a name. Hmm. Mm. How about Pete's Posy, Captain? Or the Blue Doom. Mm. How about we let the landlubbers decide for themselves? Yeah, that's a great idea, Pete. You decide what to call her. Just remember to write the name on the back of the ship in permanent markers so it doesn't wash off just like Pete's tattoo. And make the ship your own, just like these landlubbers did. Mm -hmm. You can be as creative as you want. You are the captain now. Happy sailing, landlubbers!